Welcome to this week's Two Minute Tuesday. A question that rears its head every now and then is how far vertically and horizontally the mechanical smoke ventilation discharge should be from the system air inlet or other building features. Now the answer is of course as far as practically possible. However, there are a number of British standards that give us some vague direction in relation to this and there is one place that gives us some specific figures. I'll run through the high level guidance first before rounding off with the more specific figures. Our first reference is in BS 91 section 14.2.1.2.2, basement smoke shafts. It states, smoke shafts serving basements should discharge smoke directly into open air at ground level. The smoke shaft should not discharge smoke by the building exits or by fire and rescue access points. This same point is repeated in BS 9999, section 27.1.4.2.2. Next we have BS 7346 part 8, section 6.4.1, which states, Smoke exhaust should be designed and located so that the discharged smoke is not directed at adjacent building surfaces and is unlikely to re-enter the building or adversely affect escape routes. BS 91 in section 36 part K directs us as follows. Exhaust outlets should be positioned such that they 1. do not discharge products of combustion close to final exits or other parts of the escape routes, 2. are not close to any combustible or otherwise vulnerable element of the building construction, and 3. do not enable re-entry of exhaust products back into the building or other ductwork. This is similar to the points covered in section 32.5.1 of BS 9999 which notes any exhaust points should be sited so as not to further jeopardise the building, i.e. away from final exits, combustible building cladding or roofing materials, and openings into the building. 7346 Part 8 has further references in 6.48, stating inlet air should be taken from locations unlikely to be affected by smoke, and 6.4.9, which notes the stair vent and the termination of any smoke shaft should be located as far as practicable so that one, they are not subjected to positive wind pressures, and two, smoke does not re-enter the building through the stair vent. Finally, we get the magic numbers in BS 9999, section 32.5.8, external ductwork and exhaust outlets. It states, exhaust points from ductwork systems should be sited A, at least five meters horizontally separated and more than one meter above any opening, doors or windows, skylights and ventilation apertures, or intake or discharge feature in the same or an adjacent premises to prevent extracted smoke being recirculated, and B, a minimum of 1.5 meters from any combustible wall, cladding or roofing materials. I hope this helps answer the questions as to the specific distance we should leave between the exhaust point and the air inlets and also provide some detail on the other building features that we should consider when citing exhaust and inlet components of the smoke ventilation system. If these points can be given consideration during the initial layout and space planning stages, it can save a lot of hassle when trying to site the equipment further down the line. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And as always, I'll look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.